guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are diving back into some more elemental craft and getting ore duplication hopefully set up by the end of today's video. So, I hope you guys are ready. Today, I want to get into ore duplication, and what do I need to do to do that? Well, I think we should dive further into the elemental craft. This right here has already gotten us an unlimited smelter, but we need to kind of push further. And to do that, we of course need some more iron and things like that. I've, I've already mined a bit of iron. Uh, we are probably gonna need a bit more, but I wanna be able to duplicate these ores. Uh, to be able to do that, we need to, like I said, dive a little bit further. So what am I gonna need for this? Well, an ore purifier. Now an ore purifier is also gonna need pure crystals. Um, we already learned how to get regular crystals. And then we're also gonna need something called swift alloy. So we're gonna need two other mechanics in order to get there. One is gonna be an element binder. This is how we're gonna get that swift metal. And uh, then we're also going to need something called, um, I believe it's in here. If I search up elemental craft. Uh, so if we search this, we're gonna find that we need a element binder. This is how we're gonna make this. It's gonna require air, it's gonna require an element container and an element binder in order to get this. Um, now, this is just our one of the alloys that we're gonna need. Another thing, like I said, we're gonna need is this, which is the ore purifier. That's what we're eventually going for. Um, and then we also need pure crystals, which require the pure infuser. Now the pure infuser is gonna require our alloy. So we need to make this first, or, or not this first, we need to make this last. Um, so first things first is to get ourselves set up with an element binder. So I have my element binder set up, ready to go. All we gotta do is dive in on that. I love how these buttons are massive. <laughs> I think that's a bug. Um, I don't know why they're they're massive. They're not massive when we're in an inventory, but only when we're here. So an element binder, just kind of look at this. Uh, that's pretty simple, right? I think we have just about everything we need in order to make an element binder. Um, the only thing that th this crafter that I don't like about this crafter, or oh, I already have an element binder. Um, the only thing I don't like about this crafter is it doesn't tell you what you don't have. Um, so this, this will be temporary. It's a great storage for searching things and finding things right away as you need it. But as far as crafting, it is it does not work that that well. Um, it'll get your basic stuff done, but it's it's not great. And you can also over here set up uh, like recipes if you want to store like automatic recipes. You can do that there as well. But still, it, it's we want to move out of this as soon as possible. And a planner logistics is in here, so. Eventually, once we get this ore duplication set up, I want to strive towards getting that set up as well. So, let's get started with this. Um, I'm going to need a container, right? That was something that I needed, an element container. Um, and one of the things we need is the burnt glass. So, with the glass, let's go ahead and grab some of that. Um, I think we can add this on the top of this tank. So, if I take this off... I think this will still, this infuser should hopefully still work on top of here. That's what I'm hoping. And then we take this and we should be able to make some burnt glass. Right? Yes. Okay. And it does work faster, it seems. Um, that, sound, oh, that sounded like a creeper. Man, I've had the worst luck with creepers. I am so done with them. Okay. <laughs> So we ended up getting the burnt glass. That is one of the things that we needed. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some of the other materials crafted up. I'm gonna get the tanks crafted up um, and be able to hopefully make a few of these tanks. So over here, I made a little path to get to our air. And of course, along this journey, we're probably gonna have other things that we build um, to the size of this. I figured that this would be a nice little pathway, but right here is an earth node. Um, so this is one that we need to set up. So I have my tanks here. Let me make sure that I am right where I need to be. Tank here, and then I should be able to place an element extractor on top. Awesome, that will extract. And then we also need another container. This is where things get kind of interesting. Like, I, I'd like to place them like this. That way I can just use one pipe. Uh, we send the pipe like this, and then I click here to extract into this tank. This gives access to that top bit. Um, and that's what we're gonna need. So I'm gonna need to make some crystals so I'm gonna need some more inert, and that should be able to get fired up. I'm gonna let those fill up, but we gotta do this for each one. I need this set up for the air and water, and uh, we do have a water node that is close by. I did mark them. Um, there's a water one close by, but as far as uh, air goes, it's still out in the ocean, so I haven't found an air one that is actually nearby. So for this, I am going to need this right here. Element infuser placed on top, 
Um, and we are going to need just a few, I believe. Oh, I have a couple of air crystals um, to make this. Let's see. Yeah, we need air for each one. So actually, I do have enough because I'm, I'm only going to make four of these. Okay, good. Uh, so I can place the element binder on top. All I got to do is give it the resources. So let's go ahead and pull that out. We need the drenched iron, gold, and then the air. So pop one of those, this, this, and this. And that should combine with air. Given that we, we have enough, I don't know if... We are probably going to need a little bit <laughs> for this. So gold drenched. Yeah, we need a low amount. So it's not even there yet. Um, so this might take a little while to drain all of the air needed in order to get to this point. Oh boy, I didn't think about that. That's going to that's gonna take a little bit of time. Okay, so I just want to make this clear if you're struggling like I was. It does have to go in order from top, right, bottom, left in this order. So... If you look at the recipe, top, right, bottom, left. <laughs> because I tried it every other way, that doesn't work. That's not working. Try it this way, in the order, it works. Okay, so I, I probably didn't have to wait for it to, to, to go off. It just didn't make it clear that you have to go in that very particular order. Very interesting, <laughs> probably not intended but that's how it's it has to be crafted so i'm assuming it's going to be that way for every other craft that i have to do so i best be prepared so i hope i have everything for this of course there we go perfect so with this pure infuser i should now be able to hopefully set this up i do need to read my book and figure out exactly what it needs in order to work i'm hoping it doesn't need like everything connected to it <laughs> that could be that could be the case. I have decided to go ahead and uh, and do some deep research on this mod. Turns out I actually need to make all of these pedestals that go into the multi-block that is this pure infusion. So now that I know that, I should be able to handle this. So what I'm going to need is I need to actually craft up each individual pedestal related to its own um, element. So for example, uh, the one that we have in front of us is air, so I need to use my element binder. I need to place... What? How did I... Oh, cork is in here. I forgot about that. I was like, how did I place it on the side? Um, so I need to take this, and I need to craft the air pedestal. So it's going to be the infusion, air crystal, and then, of course, the, the two rocks um, on the side. Um, so we need an element infuser. Place that. This and two of these. And that should craft up and give us a pedestal. At least that's the goal. It looks like it's crafting right now, which is perfect. Now, um, I will need to take this air container. Um, I might take two of them, but as of right now, I think this should be fine. So this is our first one. This is now filled back up. So what I'm going to do is actually take all of this because I need this container full of air. We're going to use this in the crafts uh, to be able to make the pure ones. And eventually we can move these nodes. So we can move them. They're not permanent where they're at. So thank goodness we're able to move them. Um, and that's going to come once we get a pure crystal. So once we get a pure crystal, things are going to get a little bit easier for us. We're going to be able to uh, manipulate these things uh, and kind of move them wherever we want them. So this is the configuration. So we have the pure infuser. Then we have our water pedestal. So up here is my fire, air, earth, and water. I don't know if they have to be in this exact order. Um, but I am following the way that this is set up here. And then basically we put a diamond in the middle. Now this is going to consume this stuff. So right here is our uh, fluid. So I need to take a pipe and actually route this pipe into here and then set the pipe like so to extract and fill this pedestal. And we should notice this will drop down. Um, so I don't have sources for everything, but we will set that up eventually. Right now, this one can contain this one contains water. So what I can do is I can just hook up my pipe. This one contains earth. So I just need to set it up like right here for right now. And then uh, and I don't know if they can be on the bottom of it. I, I have no idea. This one contains air. And all we got to do is hook a pipe up to it like so and set it to be extracted. And then we just sort of wait a little bit just to give it enough time for these to actually fill up. 
um, with their desired aspect. We won't be able to see, but we should be able to see this dropping. So it may take a little bit of time, but um, I'm going to let this run for just a little while. I don't know how much it's going to take, but once I start seeing a significant drop in this, then we'll know when we have enough. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is 116. Um, these guys are a thing. Um, good thing I don't have a village nearby. I actually need to get this guy to be trapped somehow, or or I could be a pro and I'm gonna let these guys kill him. I, I do need a. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna end up dying. I, I definitely need a shield. Okay. <laughs> shield. That's a vanilla shield will definitely become handy for this for this battle here. So I don't get completely filled with arrows. Oh gosh. You know what? I'm probably just better off to kill these guys. Yeah, if I don't die myself. I'm glad there's only three of them. Oh, he's dead. Oh boy. I want to get him to be able to kill. There we go. Kill him. There we go. Thank goodness. That way I don't have to worry about this guy and I can just kill him like that. There we go. And then we don't get bad omen. Oh, super nice. Now I can go to sleep. So while I wait for those elements to kind of move into their pedestals, I'm going to go ahead and go down here. I need to mine out some more diamond as I only have two and I'm probably going to need four to get uh, get what I want done today at least. So get back to back to a little bit more, you know, branch mining. Now that's what I wanted to see. Perfect. Some more diamonds. Now I should be pretty good for the rest of today's video. So I may have hooked up the wrong pipes. I think improved pipes is what's needed here. So I have, these are the highest tier pipes. They are called improved pipes. And hopefully this is going to get the job done. Um, I know that there's probably just not enough material yet inside there to be able to craft, but I wanna make sure this starts to go down to make sure these pedestals get filled. I'm not noticing any movement from this, so. I don't know, maybe I have them in the wrong order? So I found it in my guidebook. Apparently the visualization here is going to show me where everything needs to be. And there is a creeper creeping on me. Oh my gosh. While we have the visualization up. You gotta be kidding me. I am so done with creepers. I need a way. I'm sure there's a way. There's gotta be a way. Something that can keep creepers away. Especially while I'm, I mean, maybe working on things during the day and not night. That would, that'd probably be a good start. <laughs> So let me try this visualization here. I'm going to place it down. Okay, so we have our fire. I'm guessing that's earth. This is definitely water. That's earth. So it's in the same configuration that we had. We have fire. Um, water. Over here is going to be air. And this one is going to be earth. And then last but not least, we have our pure infuser. Cleared blo blocks marked in red. Oh, so these need to be out of the way. Okay. So let's move all this out of the way, including this. So it does have to have things out of its space. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So that means this should now work. At least that's the case. Okay, so I place my diamond in. And nothing. Um, I have a feeling there's something still wrong. Okay, so after this is all set up, what I need to do is I need each of the individual elements on the pedestal. Um, I am completely losing my mind, apparently. I, did, I totally forgot about all of the individual parts that is needed there. Um, so this is crystals, so I need an earth, fire, air, and water crystal. And those all need to go on their individual platforms, um, and that should work. So this, this is all set up. So now that we have our pipes, everything, I did check my book and make sure that everything was fine. I think we're just about ready to craft. So water goes here, fire goes here, earth goes here and air goes here. 
Last but not least, we need a diamond. And all of that should start to flow into that diamond. Oh, wow. That is a pretty picture there. Look how cool that is. That is pretty... A pretty nifty animation there. With all of this, uh, like, flowing into it. That's pretty cool. But how long is it going to take? So, it is draining this quite quickly. Then I hope I can at least make one. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, good, 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 good. So, one of this, these was definitely enough to make a single crystal. And that's, I think that's all we need, because... Technically, what I need here is to make an empty source receptacle, and it just needs one. Oh, and then we can provide this infinitely with the resource. So that's... Let's go ahead and get that made. So I should be able to craft one up. There we go. Empty source receptacle. And hopefully I have unlocked something that talks a little bit about it. But I believe... Yeah, empty source receptacle. A receptacle... Uh, receptacles are powerful tools that allow you to move sources. Oh, yes. So, at this point... We can now go over here to our water source, for example. I should be able to pick up all of my gear that I have set up over here, and we are gonna move this elsewhere. Oh boy, this is gonna make it so much nicer. So I can pick this up and this, and also I can pick this up. This is the source. Oh boy, this is gonna make it a lot easier to move forward in this mod and, uh, and have these resources available to us. So to place these back down, we should be able to set the same thing up that we had before. Um, except now, I can uh, actually place this on top. Look at that. And it's back working again. And you can see, oh, that took durability hit. Okay. And uh, then we should be able to hook up our pipes. So I'm just going to go ahead and just hook up elemental to this. And now we have like a infinite source here. Now this, on the other hand, this probably needs to be changed I think what I'm going to end up doing is moving it over here, because I still want this to sort of be a walkway. And right now, it is in the way of everything. So I'll place it here, and then I'll pro probably set my source over here somewhere for the Earth, with the, which the Earth is actually over here. But we're going to put something else there where that Earth currently stands. So one of the items I was seeing is the instrument output receiver, because I was actually wondering, how do we output items since the stuff is being used on the bottom? So this right here is exactly how it would work. Right here, instrument output receiver. It's going to take items that are done crafting and it's going to end up going into a chest or an adjacent inventory. That right there is definitely worth it. So I have this all set back up. Uh, pretty much I'm just still waiting for these to fill up. Now there are improved extractors that will go faster, I believe. And that is going to be like the ultimate way to do this. And it's, and it's probably going to be better to eventually just have this crafting thing right here set up with its own nodes. Um, but yeah, I think the the cool thing about this is like there's uh, enchantment stuff that you can do where you can like breed with uh, breed animals and 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 improve growth tick rates and all kinds of other cool things um, and you can do that via spells kind of like a wand thing or you can do it with uh, with actual like in world um, what are they called like uh, they're they're actually in here they're called shrines yeah you can use it like in world shrines that kind of have their own effect that uh, kind of impact the world as well. So all kinds of pretty pretty cool stuff. And there's tons of scrolls and stuff that you can use that do like different effects. And I definitely want to get into that later on because there's, there's probably going to be some stuff that provides some really nice mobility stuff that we could probably utilize. So at this point, I am making my last crystal. And there we go. Man, this is, this is a really, it's really satisfying to watch these little particles. Like I kind of like that. But uh, this right here will be our last crystal because I have another pure crystal right here that I just made. I kind of had to wait a little bit. It doesn't take all that long for this to build back up. Um, and I did notice the pipes kind of disconnected on me. So I did have to go and reconnect them. But other than that, it's working just fine. Um, and all I need is this last pure crystal and we can start utilizing this earth here for something special. So we we should be able to start duplicating our ores. That's the ultimate goal here. I'm also going to grab um, some of my other stuff that I have laying around in here, uh, like my furnace. So I'm going to need my furnace. And uh, then I'm also going to need to be able to craft my... There we go. My ore purifier, I think it's what it's called. Ore purifier. Yes, ore purifier. 
And fire furnace, fire furnace. Okay. Or purifier. Am I, am I missing the blocks? What am I missing? White rock? I must be missing white rock. So I'm going to make a, a little bit of white rock and then I guess see if that'll craft. I, I'm pretty sure I have all the other components. So with the white rock made, I should be able to make it, right? No, I'm missing earth crystal. That's, that's what I'm missing. I literally just sat here and made all this and forgot. I need one thing. This. Right here. Um, so I did go ahead and place the element infusers on all of these, but of course these two right here are going to be replaced soon with a furnace on them. So I really won't be using that. Uh, I may have to add some kind of external. I might hook up a mini um, to it and then use that. that. That'll probably be a better option. Okay, now can I craft it? Yes. Okay, so we have our ore, we have our furnace and this ore. Okay, so let's grab some ore. Like, I don't know, iron ore. Sounds like a good option. And then we're gonna hook this up. Now, I don't know how easy it's gonna be to set up like an automated system. I think what we should find is probably another fire and another earth uh, and set up a system for automating this. But that's not for today's video. Today's video is just getting the stuff. So let's go ahead and test this out. Um, I need ore purifier. I need the furnace here or purifier here. Okay. So it looks like the ore goes in the back slot and then it gets purified. Okay, and it does one, oh no, that's the whole stack of ore. That's the whole stack it took, or the whole, the all the all that we put in there. And then that gives us two each. So now one ore equals two, and we should be good to go. And this is gonna give us the ingot now over here. Perfect. And if we were to use a blast version, there's a blast version of this. Um, if we were to use that, of course it would go twice as fast, I would assume. Um, but yeah, looking at this, it looks like we can just continue to throw this in here, right? Yes, we can continue to throw that in there and it's good to go. So of course, as always, I want to give a huge shout out to one of my patrons and that's going to be a huge thanks to Willa Chavs. I think I said that right. Thank you so much for being a patron. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon yourself, be sure to check the description down below. Also, guys, if you would, I do live stream over at Twitch. Be sure to give me a follow over there and also join our amazing Discord if you haven't already. You can find that all linked down in the description below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and also ring that beautiful notification bell so you get a notification whenever I do post new content such as this. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And guys, I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.